broken heart, broken bones, I carry the load until I got home. Hold me, job, hold me, broken back. I went to and fro, my step little path. Come on, ye mountain winds, drag me away from here to a place where I will belong. For I've always been your son, working hard, working strong. I run out of stones, everything that I got got me on her face, and I got so hands. I dig me ditch there in the sand. Come ye stormy seas, bring me far away from here to a place where I will belong. I've always been your son And I will get along And come out of the storm And I will get along And come out of the storm And I will get along And come out of the storm And I will get along
Hey, everybody. Welcome to Big Blend Radio with Nancy and Lisa. You know, the crazy mother-daughter travel team on the Love Your Parks tour. You just heard Man of the Storm, and that is the first track on the new compilation album by Uncle Bart and the Dirty Bastards. So I love to say that. That is like the best band name swear. ever. Yeah. I know, I know. Uh, we're super happy to have guitarist Silvano Ancelotti, I think I said it right, on yeah. the show, as well yeah. as Lorenzo Testa, who plays the banjo and mandolin in the group. And uh, they're joining us, well, both from Italy, but go to their website, UB dirtybastards.com. Can I say it again? You be dirtybastards.com. I want to say it. You Go ahead, dirty say it. bastards. The bastards. <laughs> um, the new album is called The Story So Far, and it comes out worldwide on August 7th through Angel Air Records. So welcome. Silvano, did I get your name, your last name right? Am I getting anywhere close? Yeah, it's very close, very close. Enough that I could get a drink from the bar that you're in right now? <laughs> Of course, of course. Okay. Good. Good. What would you serve it from that bar? What would you serve? Uh, well, actually, it's a, I know it's weird, but it's a proper Irish pub. Um, oh, good. It's, it's in Italy. The, yeah, they serve Guinness, they serve beer, they serve any kind of cocktail, you know, a bar. What's oh, a Guinness favorite, would be good. Yeah, what's a favorite Irish cocktail? My yeah. favorite, uh, I don't know, I actually drink a lot of Guinness, mm. but in, much cocktails maybe okay. maybe lorenzo really loves like irish car bomb oh <laughs> you like car bomb? <laughs> 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 lorenzo welcome to the show how's it going yeah i'm good I i'm not at the pub unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. That's okay. It's but, okay. you know, we'll all just pretend we're having cocktails. L L L Listen, Guinness is good for us all. I've read that you can actually live on a Guinness for 30 days without eating anything. So, I think, yeah. And, and Lorenzo, I think he's had some because he's frozen. <laughs> yes. What size Guinness? I mean, 30 days. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Like, maybe you oh. need to have 30... 30 for 30 days i don't know but um oh he went away he did hmm. hopefully he comes back but we'll, we'll make it work so silvano tell us a little bit about the start of you guys being from italy and having like a super kick-ass celtic band i mean it's <laughs> it's amazing in fact the first time we were playing your music was uh, to two friends of ours who just got back from Scotland, and their one is from Scotland, and she's like, "That's Irish. That's not Scottish." She's like, "Boom!" And then I went, "Now I'm going to have to tell her, no, they're Italian." <laughs> but what got you guys started? <laughs> well, um, you know, we're we're six people. We all come from like punk bands, rock bands, uh, but then we always had these like big love for Irish culture, for Irish music, you know. And then we find ourselves traveling a lot to Ireland. And so at some point we, we started a bit as a joke. We said, all right, let's put our gear together and let's try to play Irish music. At the very beginning, we were terrible, really, mm -hmm. I can tell you. Uh, but then uh, we, really, we really put some effort trying to uh, get a proper feel, get a proper mood, you know, uh, on this music and then it comes out with this. I don't know. I mean, I'm not good. It's great. In uh, band. I have no idea. We do. We do what we do, and we we put all our heart in that, and and that's it. And then, you know, we named in a funny way because we thought it was just a fun project, fun, mm. you know, side mm. band, like the Dirty Bastards, you know. But then when we started touring like Europe, we were, we started getting quite scared about the name because. I mean, maybe it's too much. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I think, think there's something. Fun. Yeah, I think there's something to yeah. do to doing something that you really enjoy and love. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's things like that take off. And you I mean, touring Europe, you've been over to Ireland as well, touring. And so and they've welcomed you from what I've been reading. It's with open arms and enjoy the music, too. So and because when you listen to it, Really, um, Lorenzo, you're all writing this. You're not really just doing a bunch of Celtic covers. You, you're all writing as well, right? Is everybody in the band right, Lorenzo? Uh, me, Silvano, and, and Guido, the, the vocalist mainly. We are the songwriters, yeah. And we, we, we also 
you, you know, write the, the, the tune, uh, the, um, the tunes we, we use in the songs. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, they're, they're really, I mean, it's it's authentic as, as you mm -hmm. can get. I mean, it really, mm -hmm. when you listen, you feel like, okay, we're swept away. And we've done a lot of, been to so many Celtic festivals, Renaissance right. festivals, Highland Games, you name it. And mm -hmm. there's just, there's a certain sound and there's a, and when, when our friend turned around and she knew it was Irish, I thought that was pretty, you know, That's so. Pretty good. Yeah. Is, is everything supposed to be more Irish than Scottish or, or English when you write? Is it? focused on being Irish? No. No? <laughs> okay. It's just okay. In so, a word. <laughs> so you got a little Scottish in there too, so I'm going to have to tell her. No, I'm no, like, okay. Way, way more Irish, of course. Yeah, it is more Irish. Yeah. From So when you, who do you listen to when, when, you know, you got started in doing this? Who, from either one of you, do you listen to from over in, in Ireland and Scotland and the Celtic Isles? Who who do you listen to? Um, well, I mean, we we can say we got into that because you know the Irish punk bands uh, from from the US actually, you know, Drop Murphys or Floggy Molly, those kind yeah, of yeah. bands. Then we got immediately back to the roots, and then I mean, talking about me, I like the Pogues, well, but even Lorenz, of course. Uh, maybe Lorenz is even more traditional than me. Uh, I'm saying a little bit more punk, punkish. But... Lorenz, are you traditional? <laughs> He's frozen. Uh, I mean, I, I used to. I, I grew up listening also to folk, uh, folk rock bands, like Sleeps and stuff like that. And then, in our area, there is a huge interest for traditional uh, Irish music. And uh, I went to a chieftain show when I was oh. very young. So uh, I was into that as well. And also punk stuff and Floggy Molly and stuff like that. And the Pogues, of course. Yeah. Dropkick Murphys too. I lost my leg. <laughs> 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 it's like, it's a, one of our favorite songs. Song. You just like, you know, you'll get pulled over and get a ticket, a speeding ticket, mm -hmm. listening to that, you know. Mm -hmm. So with, with this album coming out, um, you only have one new song on there, right? But, but these are all, comp that's a compilation from favorite songs from your four albums. What, yeah, what yeah, led you to do that? Yeah, basically we never had our whole album distributed all over the world. I mean, we, we did the first three album like DIY, uh, mm -hmm. you know, like taking care of everything. Uh, and then we were setting at the shows where like you were able to buy on the website, but then we never had a proper label or distribution one was even a kind of choice at the very beginning. Then, I mean, the guys from engineer came up and, and they said, why don't we do a compilation just to introduce you to the world? <laughs> um, and so cool. we said, after 15 years, we said, well, why not? Let's yeah, really? It. Yeah, 15 years. So that's, that's a, good a long number. time. That's, yeah. that's a long time, you know? It's, mm -hmm. So do you all get along then, right? <laughs> the six of you to, to stick no around band. for 15 years. Yeah. yeah, there's no band scandal. Come on. Yeah, no drama. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you, if you drink Guinness, you get along better, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Look, look my skin. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, are you gonna are you gonna tour with this new album coming out? Uh, we are always on tour. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah. So we start. Uh, we are touring uh, from January to December, <laughs> but mainly in the in the summer. And okay. So there's no. We don't have a proper promotional plan for this album because we mm -hmm. already booked our tour uh, back last year I mean and uh, so we'll see what to do then to to promote it maybe uh, with autumn or winter tour something like that mm -hmm. don't know yet <laughs> are you going to come over to the United States it'd be great to see you guys over here uh, that will be great <laughs> we're supposed to come back uh in 2020 but then with covid and yeah everything mm -hmm. so we we can do a plan now maybe mm -hmm. next summer i hope so 
I hope so. Oh, that'd be great. That would be great. Mm, that'd be so, yeah. yeah, and I think putting a compilation is great. And, and going on your YouTube channel, I encourage everybody to go connect with your videos because your mm -hmm. videos, I mean, they're first class. They're really yeah. good. They're fun. Um, you, it just, you, your music really tells mm -hmm. stories. And I think that's something that's beautiful about Celtic music mm -hmm. too, is it's, it's storytelling. Is that something that's important to you as a band when you're doing new songs and then doing the videos? His stories? Uh, yeah, I mean, we something that we really like with, with Celtic music is that we found a way to communicate, you know, our things, our life going and things like that in that in that style. I mean, it's people, it's music that reach people easily, is mm -hmm. listening music, you know. And we found a way to squeeze our lives in those songs. So why not? Yeah. 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 No, they're good. I like they're the good. Video with all the, the people in the town watching you. It's really a mm -hmm. cool video. Mm -hmm. It's you know, then oh. there's they say, you know, because we've been in villages like that, mm -hmm. you know, and you see how they all come out, no matter what's happening, if something's happening, they all come out and just stare at it. It's really fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I thought, but it was cool, you know, because they looked happy. It was happy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that video, uh, I think, is Rambling Boys. The one yes, mm -hmm. that was the Rambling Boys. Yes. Everyone's got to go. Go on, uh, let's see, ubdirtybastards.com and then go from there. You can see videos. And uh, August 7th. So this, the album will go worldwide, all over the world on one day, which is amazing, right? To get that That's kind crazy. of distribution. Mm. That's kick ass right there. Um, and I'm glad to see that you're touring. Is there for each of you somewhere that you want to perform that you haven't performed in yet, a, a venue that you haven't played with? Uh, a, a state or a venue or? Any place. Yeah, is there somewhere you want to go that you haven't been yet? I mean, to me, it's the easiest answer ever. And everybody knows it. I really Japan. want to go to Japan. It's like, it's like Japan. Japan. <laughs> years I'm trying to get there. And then, COVID first and then everything and I can't make it. Uh, mm. So that would be a place where I want to go just because we came already to the, to the US like three years ago. Yeah. And so but what yeah. about what about you, Lorenzo? Where do you want to go? Probably west coast of US. Mm. Ah, and you haven't been there yet? No. Oh, you're going to love it. It's beautiful. It's fun. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, and then you can, like... Um, Here's oh, some beach surf, festivals. surf music. Yeah, yeah Celtic the surf is, music. The beat is very similar. Mm. You know? and, do you want to go to the California? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there there's a, a... There was a Celtic festival in September, but I don't know if it's, long, if it's still running. Uh, Shamrock, the festival, the name. Mm. So he, uh, it was in California, if I remember well. We talked uh, with the organizer a few years ago, then we, we didn't have a chance uh, with, with visas and stuff like that. But Yeah, that's getting day. harder and harder now, right? With yeah. all the visas <laughs> and going overseas. Mm. Well, the, in California, there's um, a Celtic fair in a town called Sonora. Mm -hmm. And it's right outside uh, Yosemite National Park. And they do jousting, the old jousting and everything on the horses. And it's one of the best festivals, them. And then um, the San Diego Scottish Highland Games in San Diego, that's normally in June. Highly recommend that. Um, I don't, mm -hmm. have you heard the Wicked Tinkers before? Have you heard of that band? No. Oh, we've got a Wicked Tinkers. They're very naughty. They wear kilts and turn around and sometimes you see things. <laughs> they don't wear underwear. <laughs> some, some, some do, some don't. Uh, but uh, like, okay. them, and then I would, I would love to see you guys perform with um, them and then Tempest. Have you heard of Tempest? No. That, that would, that would, mm. you guys would, it would just be, be it would be, I would be in trouble. Like I would, I would, they would have to lock me away. Cause it's when you when well when mm. it gets rowdy, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's the music is Celtic music is tribal, you know what I mean. And so you feel like you're it's like you're going to war, but you're not going to war. And then there's love songs, and then it's like, but still, it's 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 upbeat. It's, it's tribal. You know? It is. Mm -hmm. So when you hear like when you go to a festival and there's just all that kind of rock and Celtic music, you get in trouble. I know. <laughs> well, you're yeah, supposed to. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, that, that's why you go there, isn't it? Yes. It's yeah. to cause trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Silvana, tell us about everybody in the band, because there's the two of you, and then tell us about mm -hmm. everyone else who's in the band. So give give them a shout out since they're not with us today. They're probably drinking Guinness somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. It's seven o'clock here, so of course. Oh. Six. Um, so we have our drummer, which is Luca. Uh he's not drinking Guinness right now, but he's probably eating something, you know. <laughs> and then we got we got a the chief the main chief which is Bardo Uncle Bard you know mm -hmm. is the player is the is the no it's not even the old one but he's the wisest one definitely and the most <laughs> shy man um, so that's, so, that's the, why we so he's the Uncle Bard why did you decide him because it was he's he's the wise one but why did you decide to use his name because he really don't want to be on the spotlight oh. he want to be in the spotlight so we put it at the top of the name <laughs> okay <laughs> that's, that's awesome mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah. so uncle yeah. Bar the dirty bastards you know that's i still love that you know mm -hmm. and so you've got yeah man and then so you got luca guido well yeah and, you, like, two and singer acoustic guitar, you know, is a mm -hmm. cool guy. In the yeah, of course, he's a singer. And then, then we have the other Luca, which is a flute player, flute mm -hmm. player, um, Ilian, Ilian pipes, all those very, very uh, typical Irish instruments, which is, it's a little bit older than us, but uh, he has a big legacy with, you know, Irish culture and irish music is uh, and the tin whistle that's that that's neat you don't get to see hear that very often that the whistle like that the tin yeah. whistle mm. yeah mm -hmm. he, actually when he joined the band we we have to like level up a bit to to you know to reach his level because he's one of the is a kind of like famous musician in in our area about irish music so we came you know small like this asking hey Luca. Do you have any students for us? And he came out like, I'm joining the band. And it was like, yes. Oh, that's, that's cool. awesome. That's really awesome. Cool. Yeah. Lorenzo, who are the dancers in some of the videos? You've got the dancers um, that were in there. Yeah, there is a da uh, Irish Dance Academy in our uh, hometown. That's oh. well, uh, they started in our hometown. They are really huge now. They, are, they have a, uh, they are okay, in wait. 20 cities in over Italy and they're really good. Uh, the, the name is uh, Jean Dis, that's French, <laughs> actually. Uh, <laughs> J, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce French it. <laughs> how to Celtic explain it. Anyway, anyway, I love this. Jean Dis. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you just search for Irish Dance Academy Italy, they are the, surely the first name uh, coming yeah. out on Google. The, they're really good and we we do gigs together on uh, festivals and stuff like that we, we we've been in france together uh one week ago it was great because it's uh something different and really good that's Are there nice a lot of irish people in italy what sorry i said are, are there a lot of irish people in italy mm. there are some there are some mm. Uh, I mean, it's not. A, They're all dancers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone is a dancer. Mm. Yeah, that, I, that, you can you can say there is a there is a community. Like I mean, in the US, it's huge. Uh, mm. But yeah, there are some. Uh, mm -hmm. We met them all. <laughs> <We're in Irish. laughs> I I I think it's That's so cool. But then uh, mm. that you know world music is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and fusion mm -hmm. and you know and I, I think it's it's like carrying the torch of music that may get left behind and the, the fact that you're doing it in different countries and that mm -hmm. you're from Italy is fantastic because mm -hmm. you know you don't always I mean in this country there's a lot of um, you know Scottish and Irish people and English people and a lot of pubs but um, it doesn't mean you get to see that many bands doing it, actually performing, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of genre. So I think it's fantastic because it's it's opening people's ears to something they may not always listen to, 
and then when you do see it go live it, it gets a little crazy like i said mm -hmm. it's it's wild it's a wild time D does it get wild for you guys when you're performing do do you see crazy things in the audience <laughs> oh, yes that's why we yeah. i mean sounds great because he, we play in festivals so yeah big audience and then we can do you know those things like crowd surfing or mm -hmm. some That's things cool. i think in one of the videos we i drink from a shoe see that's it yeah you guys have to you have to i swear i want to see you the tempest and the wicked tinkers at, with you guys mm -hmm. on the same bill mm -hmm. i don't know man i would probably get locked up it would it would be crazy because that's the, the same kind of energy and it reaches a younger audience too well, that's free. the other thing it's free do, you, do, you, you, do you get a bigger um audience of all ages for your music um well, yes. I mean, we um, we coming from like punk bands, rock bands. You know, usually the people come to your show is people your age, basically. Yeah. Uh, but this kind of music, you have like I don't know. My mom come come to the show when we play in our hometown, and she enjoys the music. Sure. And then we have like teenagers because they they have that vibe, you know, fast music. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't know, grown up mm -hmm. people. Yeah. yeah. It's, we, cool. we, it's about the beat and the rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And mostly about the banjo. The banjo makes you happy. Oh, yeah. Time. The banjos, but that's really hard to play. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, well, I mean, it really is. So I tried and I was like, okay, that's Listen, it, going back to the piano and the organ, but the banjo. No, like, no. Oh. No, I never play That's the hard. banjo sound on a piano or the, the a oh, keyboard. The never oh, do that. Shit. Never. Oh, you Terrible. got it. There it is. Oh, cool. So have you always yes. played the banjo? I mean, is that something that you, when you started doing the Celtic music, said, okay, I'm going to do the banjo and the mandolin, or were you always playing those instruments? No, I, I used to play guitar before. I started okay. playing guitar, and then... Then I, I I had a banjo at home, and so I started to play the banjo. Now it's my main instrument, but I also play other strings uh, instrument like the buzuki or guitar as well. And wow, wow! But because isn't it different picking? Like isn't like your how you use your the rhythm in your hand? Like isn't that different than playing on the guitar? Like the rhythm. Well, uh, the finger picking looks different to me. Yeah, but but uh, this is, a, I don't know if you can see, it's a um, tenor banjo, and uh, it's four strings, and I use the pick. I'm not playing oh. drummer, like uh, the, the oh, bluegrass that's what banjo, or the, the, yeah. the American banjo. I also play that, but not uh, not in this band, and I'm not good at that. I did. And <laughs> so this, it, this is not so different. Well, I mean, every instrument uh, requires a, a different style, and you have uh, always a lot of uh, challenges with any any instrument, but this is not so different because you, uh, I use the pick, so mm -hmm. it's just like mm -hmm. guitar or the mandolin, and uh, it's it's tuned like the mandolin, so mm -hmm. I can switch oh. from mandolin to banjo and then back. Oh, that's cool! That's cool. Yeah. And the mandolin, the mandolin and the ukulele have made a huge, like splash over the last ten years in this country. It seems is, is it the same mm -hmm. over in Europe as well that yeah. All of a sudden, yeah, yeah. I think I think it was Tom Petty who got ev and and uh, Eddie Vedder that got everybody <laughs> into the ukulele. Yeah, they had to, they had to save it from after uh, what was that called? Tiny Tim. Oh, oh not Tiny, Tiny Tim. Dude, Tiny Tim came out with the ukulele and just really ruined it. It was. Uh -oh. Do you know who I'm talking about? Tiny Tim. He was singing. Don't go. Don't do Tulips. Don't don't. You well, have to Google, Google it. it. It's, You'll have Google to Google it. it. It's funny. It's funny. Yeah, but it's, it's, but yeah, that's so that is over it. <laughs> in Italy. What would be a, a traditional instrument that we may not know about over mandolin. here? Mandolin is the traditional, right? So over here, yeah, yeah you know, coming see, from Italy. Yeah, that's yeah. I didn't know that. Mm, oh, ah, yeah. see. So what's then it the, fits right the, in. What's the dobro? What is that? The dobro? That's dobro. Cool. Yeah, mandolin originates from Italy and then. Uh, uh found its way to us and to progress oh. music ah oh, see i for some reason always thought the mandolin was on the celtic side 
but then all of it always comes from the middle east too you know like mm -hmm. bagpipes and all of that so that's interesting it's yeah. cool very cool well you guys have got to be excited the teenage of, of the violin uh, the mandolin mm. oh so back in the centuries yeah huh. mm. wow wow that is cool it's a bit different it's a bit different from celtic mandolin uh, like i mean the shape and also from the f style uh, bluegrass mandolin but it's the same instrument mm, just changes during the years How you but play it. yeah it's coming ah, from okay. italy yeah mm. ah. that is it's speaking music from the south of Italy. Uh, mm. And then, for example, even our hometown, which is a small place, has a kind of mandolin orchestra. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's, That's cool. cool. Yeah. You know, it's, I always thought mm. like Celtic music did kind of connect over with Italian sounds and even like, even some Greek music. You know, if you think about some of the, the picking music that it kind of connects in that way. I don't know. That's just me personally going... I always think there's a connection between countries with music. There's always mm -hmm. somebody's doing mm -hmm. something similar and maybe not have met yet, but now we're, you know, more connected than a few hundred years ago. But um, there's always a connection, you know, with, yeah, with instruments. Yeah. And um, also in our area, well, I mean, more the Piedmont region that is close to French, we, are, we have a lot of similarities uh, with folk music of that area with Irish music and French music. So there's there's mm. a connection going on through Europe. And that's good. Uh, that's cool. Well, I hope you guys come over next year. We want to see you guys perform and mm -hmm. Southern California get in the festivals. Yeah, that that's, that's those two festivals would be awesome to see you guys perform there. That would be that would be awesome. But do you have any new videos coming in the works or anything like that we should know about? With the new album uh, coming out? Well, let's see if we have time to do that. We really would like to make a video for uh, Molly Maguire. Uh, yeah, new... yeah. Oh, that's the new, the new song. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Uh, that would be cool. But yeah, the schedule of this summer is like very busy since we're like getting all, all the gigs back. And then so we're trying to push things together and let's see if, we, if we're going to make it on time. Or, but anyway, yeah. we're. We just have two weeks, Silvano, to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you have to do it live, you know, record it live. Molly Maguire's, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something, yeah. but we, 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 we're going to record um, a live uh, in France in, at the end of August. And we, we will release a live album with video as well. Nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the, well, there we the, go. The plan. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. It's been great to meet you both. And you know, Lorenzo keeps coming in and out. It's I know. Funny. It's like, I feel yeah, like sorry. you should have a doorbell every time you come back on. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> but I'm glad you could join us. Probably and we're going to. Cool yeah, it's been fun. It has been fun. But we're going to close uh, with uh, the track, The Flat Above My Pub. And um, it, to me, this is actually, this is one of my favorites because don't we all want to live? above a pub like <laughs> i don't know if you'd ever go to bed I, I think it would be great it you know comes from a very sad story yeah <laughs> but, i'm sorry <laughs> i still want to live above the pub <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody again the album is out uh, August 7th again go to UB Dirty Bastards for Uncle Bard and the Dirty Bastards <laughs> keep up with them there we want to thank our sponsor uh, Norfolk Tours Glenn over in England who takes people on tours so I just thought we'd have to connect him in there too and uh, go to norfolk-tours.co.uk but here it is uh, the flat above my pub thank you guys for joining thanks, us thanks guys it's fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. I'm
slip in place with your beer and some chip wine. Look at left and look at right, stopping only for a pint. You'll find the best deal that I offer you can deny. I got a flat above my pub, the sun's above my pub. What else you can ask for? I got a flat above my pub. Good bye to all this pain. Good bye to you, me dear. Johnny rings me all the time I can say night my pass If I don't get five shots in line Lamin' up to my old time With a humming in my eyes Now tell me long They can survive my time Love me dear When I slam so hard Then I lock the boozers out I wonder what that women for Do it right, enjoy the ride Put up it every day and night Try hard to work the line To the fun the peace of mind To keep my same on Mr. Fly I got a fly Goodbye to you, me dear. Goodbye to all the Spain. Goodbye to you, me dear. I got a 